Nexus 3D Consulting, we are a actual land surveying company, but when we started Nexus, we were really focused on 3D laser scanning. For the first time seeing a scanner and the point cloud that comes out of it, it really blows your mind because you're bringing back a, an entire digital replica of whatever it is you scan. Right now, every single architect could be benefiting from laser scanning, having an as-built architectural Revit model created, but it also it saves time, it saves money. People don't realize those things until they really start using it actively and then they're 100% sold. My guess right now would, would be saying that 10% of the overall market is actively using these technologies. If they've used it in the past, there's a lot of times that firms have had a bad experience with it. This is a unique technology. There are processes and procedures and things that you really need to follow in order to come out with an accurate data set that can be trusted and used and relied upon. Another one is cost. Laser scanners themselves are not super cheap. Not everybody wants to run out and buy one anywhere from, you know, 20, 50, 80, $120,000, depending on your industry, your project use case, your accuracy needs. So there's the lack of education as to which scanner would best fit an individual firm so they don't even know what price they should be going with. It is intimidating because it's a new piece of equipment. You gotta get the financing. You've gotta decide how, how much are you gonna use it? Is it gonna pay off? Even if you got to that point, a lot of companies, they're not prepared to handle it even internally, infrastructure-wise, software-wise. The power in a computer that is needed for major point cloud processing and laser scan data is three times what most firms are using right now because they're using typical CAD computers. And again, all of these barriers are why we're trying to educate people. And I think the best thing that people that are trying to start using this or even selling it or marketing it can do is figure out what's the value, what's the solution that the client really needs or wants to hear, and, and really trying to solve those pain points as opposed to just selling a technology or a service. You don't sell scanning, you sell helping them avoid wasting time in the field with a tape measure by capturing as builds faster. And as a service provider, you know, we win when our clients win, right? And the fact that this technology always helps them win, I think that's the why behind it.